aneuploidy as it applies to humans is a condition where there is an additional or a missing chromosome in a cell that would otherwise be diploid. And in other words, this means that the number of chromosomes in the cell is not a multiple of 23. Now, when a chromosome is missing, we call this a monosomy, and when there is an extra chromosome, then we call this trisomy. So for example, a person with trisomy 18 would have one extra copy of the chromosome 18, so they would have three copies of chromosome 18, hence the tri in the name. And for monosomy, if a person has monosomy 21, then they only have one copy of chromosome 21. So one of it is missing, and yeah, hence the name. I will talk more about the common conditions of trisomies and monosomies in the next part of the series. However, for this video, I want to only focus on the mechanisms by which aneuploidy happens. The most common mechanism is non-disjunction in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In this first example, non-disjunction is happening in meiosis 1. And so instead of these chromosomes moving to opposite poles of the cell in order to get divided in meiosis 1, which would look something like this, this cell, both of the chromosomes have moved to one pole. So then you end up with a cell with nothing inside and a cell with double the chromosome number that it's supposed to have. So then later on in meiosis 2, this process happens normally. However, because of the previous error, you end up with two gametes that contain the double number of chromosomes that it's supposed to have. So two diploid gametes, and you end up with a gamete that has nothing inside of it. So then when fusion with a normal gamete happens, you end up with trisomy in this cell and monosomy in this cell. The other way that it can happen is by non-disjunction in meiosis 2, like I said. So here, meiosis 1 is happening normally. The chromosome number has been halved normally. However, in meiosis 2, non-disjunction occurs. So instead of each chromatid moving to opposite poles of the cell in order to be divided into two different cells, they both move to the same pole, so then they end up in the same cell, which is this one. So now you also end up with a gamete with a double chromosome number and a gamete that has nothing inside of it. So then when fusion with a normal gamete happens, you end up with monosomy for this case and trisomy for this case. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if this has helped you out, leave a like and subscribe for more. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.